Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. A welcome to the birthday make along and the 1st of April. Yes, it's the 1st of April here in Australia, very early in the morning. I really wanted to do this video because I am excited about April. So I got up early, I'm half ready for work, and I upload this video and then head off to work. And I know because March only had limited colours, people are dying to start April. So let's review March. March was aquamarine and it meant courage. So I gave some thought about courage. Courage to me is a lot of people face mental health issues, health issues, life issues, and it's difficult to continue, but it takes great courage to wake up every morning, let your feet hit the floor and get on with your day. So that's great courage to me and that's what it means to me. So March having limited colours, the most popular colour of course was aqua. Now Spotlight, our yarn store, had 40% off. So yesterday I ducked out quickly and I bought some yarn because I have been doing Nan's Next Knots Cow and using the Spotlight Saver USA style yarn that's in my stash and I really like it. And with 40% off, I decided I would get a ball of aqua. Now this is good yardage. There is um, 312 meters, which is about 341 yards. It's a 200 gram ball color aqua. It's very much like Red Heart Super Saver, except a lot softer. It really is soft. It's lovely to work with. So this will go into our prize pack at the end of the year. Takes a five millimeter crochet hook or knitting needle. That's what they recommend. We have Spotlight here and in New Zealand, and I have since discovered since a subscriber contacted me, there is Spotlight in Singapore. So you can get this um, yarn down under, but hopefully whoever wins it really enjoys trying this yarn if they haven't had it before. So that was March and lots of lovely projects and post pictures. And we have 99 in our make-along group. I'm pushing for that 100. I'd like to celebrate 100. Anyway, April. No, this is not an April Fool's Day joke. It is the 1st of April here in Australia and the birthstone is diamond, a girl's best friend and means innocence. Now, most of the people taking part in the make-along are assuming because diamonds are colourless, will use white. I told you in the last video, I went a little nuts. I gave Diamond a great deal of thought and of course, bingo, the idea hit me. Before we moved to Queensland, God knows, about 20 years ago, we lived in Kununurra in far northwestern Australia. We were there for about five years with Things Job. And it's about, <laughs> I wrote it down, I have to have a look. 182 kilometres, about 130 miles south of Kununurra, was the Argyle Diamond Mine. And I worked for the Kununurra Tourist Bureau and I got a trip out to the mine. They did tours for visitors, tourists, to go and have a look at the Diamond Mine, but I also got to see back of the scenes. Now, a lot of the management team lived in Kununurra and went to work every day via light plane. And a lot of FIFOs, fly in, fly out, so worked out there. The back scenes was amazing. It was luxurious accommodation for their workers. These weren't little dogger type rooms. These were motel style, lush rooms, great swimming pool, gardens, lovely dining rooms and first class chefs. They really looked after their people. So the diamond mine opened about 1983 and unfortunately it closed November 2020. Rio Tinto, who owned the mine, closed it because COVID, the ever increasing costs of mining and the low grade quality of diamonds coming out of the mine. And after 30 years, they decided to close it. I know when they opened it, they were hoping to get 50 years out of the mine, but the quality 
is low and they have to dig far too deep to try and get better quality. It is an open or was an open cut mine and part of the agreement was Rio Tinto will look after it. So until 2025, they will restore as much as they can back to its natural environment. And so, yeah, the Argyle Diamond Mine. The Argyle Diamond Mine produced coloured diamonds. Yes, coloured diamonds. I have Argyle Diamonds in my eternity ring and I have some Argyle Diamonds in a pendant that Thing bought me when we lived there. Now, with the closure of the mine, the Argyle Diamonds are increasing in value. So I'm not going to show you them. They're locked away in a safe place because they're becoming quite valuable. So the most popular colour the mine produced is pink. Pink diamonds are very valuable. And no, I don't have a pink diamond. I, the record price for a pink diamond was um, when it went to auction, 72 million US for one diamond was the highest record they made. They produced other colours like cognac, champagne, white diamonds. So with the Argyle diamond mind in mind and everyone assuming, oh, we'll just do white. No, I wanted to get really into it and make it more exciting. So your first colour choice for April is, of course, pink because who wouldn't love a pink diamond so you can pick pink your second color choice is the closest i could come to to represent champagne which is this color it's like a light beigey peach color so if you can get close to that that'd be great that is your second choice then of course so i have clear diamonds in my eternity ring and under glass i have champagne and cognac coloured diamonds. This is the closest colour I could get to cognac. I am so disappointed, Madonna, I don't have any cognac in my liquor cabinet because this is what I love. I love to drink cognac in winter. So I need to stock up because we're cooling down here. So cognac, that was the closest I could come to cognac or brandy, if you want to, um, is the other name. And of course, because a lot of people were assuming it would just be white to represent the colourless, you can use white if that's what you choose. I hope with four colour choices, you actually do more than one colour and really get into April for diamond because diamonds are a girl's best friend. I keep saying it. So there you have it. That is the April birthstone make-along. Four colour choices pink, champagne, cognac coloured or white. I hope you really like the colour choices and are excited as, about April as I am. So guys, don't forget to post your pictures to Instagram or to the Make Along group with the hashtag birthstone, M-A-L-A-U, so I can find them. I'd really like to be inundated with photos for April so April celebrates the first quarter of the year where we have finished our birthday make along and we move into the second quarter. It's exciting. I really got excited about um, doing the Argyle Diamond one and the Coloured Diamonds because I wanted to give you something to work with after March was just aqua, aquamarine. So until next time, let's take care of each other, stay safe. Make sure you have one crafty day doing the birthday make along. I'm off to work. I ho, I ho. Bye for now. Take care.